welcome to Game Time Tech. I'm Melody Brew. This is Robert Kramer and Angela Sag. We are here at Snapdragon Stadium. Qualcomm is hosting United, Manchester United, and Real Betis. How do you say that? I don't even know how to say that. Right. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to have Don McGuire, CMO of Qualcomm. We're going to ask him a couple of questions. What do you guys want to know about? I'm, I mean, of course, for me, from my perspective, I want to know, like, is this kind of sponsorship worth it? It's a lot of money. Yep. There's a ton of fans all around the world. It's hard to pinpoint the ROI on that. But clearly, they've had a lot of success with this partnership. So. That's kind of where I'm, where I'm going with the, you know, the kinds of questions I want to ask him. What are you, well, what are you thinking? It's been a, a, a journey, right? You know, so I was in Manchester about, what, about six, nine months ago. Here we are. They're launching the jersey. Um, there's a huge amount of fan engagement. So I'm interested to know how the fans are going to get a little bit more out of the jersey uh, relationship and then what kind of data they're gathering and how the data is going to be used for the fans and then how the data is going to be used for the team and Qualcomm. So it's really kind of a, an interesting dynamic, but it's really exciting. But we're also in beautiful San Diego, which Anshul's from, so he was you know, kind enough to come down the road and meet us. Yeah, um, I think, what I, obviously, I want to know about the technology, so I want to know about where it's going to go. Obviously, 5G is quite mature at this point, so how are we going to take advantage of 5G to enhance the game experience and the and the fan experience and you know they already launched the AR experience uh, for the jersey when they launch it so I'm, I'm love to hear about more about what, what they're doing there yeah as we see the stadium kind of filling up with people mm -hmm. we're also on the day that Qualcomm announced their earnings beat beat raise I think we're gonna have a good mood of a <laughs> lot of people here today well said. so we've got fans we've got soccer well American football, and we've got a great interview with Don coming up, so this would be a good day. Great. Glad to be here. So Don, this is the big day. Everybody's okay. here, everybody gets to see like all the things here in Qualcomm's hometown. So in terms of the, the return on investment with the sponsorship, what are you really looking for? Like you've got front of Jersey, what do you want people to see and where do you really measure that from that big investment standpoint? Well, as you know, marketing is sort of a soft science. So there's the, the emotion and the emotional part of, of whatever you do to attach to yourself to your audience. And then there's the kind of the financial hard metrics. From an RI perspective, the basic foundation of our Manchester United partnership is how we come together with one of the most revered sports franchises in the world and how do we build scale for the Snapdragon brand from the awareness all the way through to affinity and advocacy. Um, and so that's the basic foundation. So then we build upon that uh, by the way we have activated and the, and the way we've engaged with the team. We started small uh, two years ago, um, but when we saw the, the ROI, we saw the attachment of their fan base uh, to our brand. We saw the attachment of our insiders to the club. Um, and we saw this, this growth in brand awareness and affinity. We decided to go big. And that's what led us to the front of shirt. Um, and that has just been an explosion by any metric you could come up with in the first three weeks of this launch. Uh, we are simply just blown away from over a billion impressions for the brand in three weeks. Uh, the biggest social, uh, most social impressions of any front of shirt launch. Biggest front of shirt launch in Manchester United history. Fastest selling away kit. I mean, you name it. The metrics just go on and on and on. I think we our shirt launch is bigger than the top three other teams who launched shirts this year combined. So that's the power of Manchester United. It's the power of their fan base. And I think it's the power of the brand. Yeah. So it must be so exciting to see here in Snapdragon Stadium, in your hometown, Qualcomm's hometown, your hometown as well, right. and all these people coming probably from around the world, right? Yeah. Like, so do you have any idea of how many people have come from countries around the world and kind of like where, where people are coming from and kind of the fan base that are here, not just from because of Manchester United, but because of Snapdragon? Well, we've brought some people here. Um, so we brought some insiders from around uh, the world to witness sort of Snapdragon Mecca uh, here at Snapdragon Stadium. But we also know that Manchester United has fans everywhere and every corner of this planet. Um, so we're sure that there are people coming um, that that this is the closest the team has come to them, yeah. wherever they may live. And, and so we're, there, we're sure they're here between San Diego and the match in LA, uh, that they come and they've come in numbers. I went to a fan event in LA, the match at SoFi, 
and they were singing the songs and carrying the flags and doing what everyone does on the way to Old Trafford. So they are everywhere, they're pervasive, and, and they are here and they're showing up in numbers. Uh, so we're very excited about, we're excited to see a full stadium today and a great match. Awesome. Don, it's great to uh, be back. I was in uh, Manchester last November. That's right. And, you know, the fans around the world, you were just mentioning them, you know, what's interesting is you're going to be grabbing and gathering all this data, mm -hmm. right? And all this data is different than what the fans are probably used to. Sure. So what data are you gathering or going to be gathering and what do you think the fans are looking for? Because these, this, the fans all around the world, you mentioned like in India and China, yeah. Europe, United States. Well, we're seeing data around um, attachment to the, the new furniture, the new shirts mm -hmm. with our brand on it. And we're seeing, you know, astronomical sales, like record setting sales. So that's one way we're, we're getting data on, okay, the brand is playing well, the kits are playing well, um, and fans are buying them in the tens of millions in this first three weeks of launch. We have another kit to launch. I think that's even going to be the most popular kit on August 12th. So that's one piece of, of data. Um, and part of it's anecdotal, but part of it's actually real numbers. Another is engagements. Um, how fans are engaging with not only the launch, but with the film mm -hmm. um, that we use to launch the new kit. I mean, choosing Eric Cantona and the storytelling that he was able to pull oh, I off. Love that is the most amazing piece of sports marketing content, if I do say so myself, um, that has been delivered to the world in a long time, and we're seeing the results of that. Yep. Um, we're blowing numbers away on engagements, on, on views, um, on clicks, on pass-alongs, et cetera, on likes and, and everything. And then we've done an initial sentiment analysis on how fans are feeling, um, both Manchester United fans and San Francisco Insiders, about this front of shirt launch and about the brand and all the different attributes. And the number one sentiment across the board is joy. Wow. Um, and so you can't ask for a better sentiment than joy. And actually joyfulness is part of the Snapdragon brand ethos. So we know we've hit the nail on the head. Great. Yeah. Sounds great. Hi, Don. Thanks again hey, for joining us. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the technology aspects of this partnership. Um, I know Snapdragon Stadium, lots of tech, uh, lots of 5G. Uh, I'd love to know about uh, you know, where you plan on taking this mm -hmm. and what new experiences and uh, partnerships that you've established with Manchester United that you plan on, you know, moving forward to in, in, enhance the experience? Yeah, I mean, as part of any brand partnership we do, um, the ability to showcase our technology is a critical element to any partnership. When it comes to Manchester United, there's three areas or three or four areas that we're really leaning in on. Uh, how do we bring the, the shirt to life? Uh, through technology. So as part of the front of shirt launch, we've launched an augmented reality experience. Right. I tried that out. Right? All you have to do is hold your phone up to the logo and you can dive into Old Trafford, you can dive into Snapdragon and what is Snapdragon because we have to build that advocacy and that affinity and that education and all aspects of the club and our brand. Um, so that's one kind of fan experience that we've launched as front of shirt. But we're looking at the reimagination of Old Trafford okay. and what that's going to look like and helping them from the ground up with technology integration into what that amazing new stadium experience is going to be. And then delivering fan experiences all over the world to the 1.1 billion fans um, is also what we're, we're actually working on with the club. Beyond that, the training facility in Carrington and kind of all aspects of Man United operations are going to be leveraging our tech. Um, and then we're going to be using our partnership um, to market our amazing technology in the product categories right where it, where it lives. Uh, obviously smartphones uh, to begin with, with, with our original partnership and now PCs. And then we'll be able to uh, storytell with auto makers and, and auto OEMs, with AR and VR partners, um, with wearable partners, et cetera. So we're looking at taking the storytelling for the partnership with Manchester United across all the product categories of Snapdragon Lives. Great. And you know, you talked a little bit about AR, you talked about a little bit about 5G and, and infrastructure. I'm curious about what about like the jersey? Do you see you guys helping, you know, Adidas maybe integrating some technology into the jerseys or? The there may or may not monitor? have been discussions with Adidas, Adidas, um, on how we can bring the shirt to life through technology. Cannot confirm nor deny um, that that has happened. Okay. And I, I think, you know, uh, Manchester United is a huge brand and, you know, you guys are a huge technology company. Are there any other places where you guys uh, might be able to work together that you don't already? Yeah, I mean, uh, one of the things that we're doing is we're, with the help of Manchester United, is they're cross-pollinating um, their partners. So just recently met with the Marriott crew 
um, uh, Marriott's a big partner of Manchester United, talking about business opportunities between Qualcomm and Marriott. Um, Ineos, obviously, being now one of the big owners um, of, of the club, um, how can we bring business capabilities to the Ineos portfolio of companies, not only across Ineos Sports, but Ineos, the actual company, right, kind of um, whether it's Grenadier from an auto perspective, which is cool, or some of their other um, uh, businesses with our industrial IoT products. Um, so we're looking at business opportunities and creating opportunities across their portfolio wherever we can. And they've been proactive about creating those relationships, those linkages, and those introductions. And then we'll, our teams take it from there. Great. Thank you very much. Sure. Thanks for having me. We had a great interview with Don McGuire, CMO of uh, Qualcomm. So we learned a little bit about ROI, about data, and a little bit about the stadium and the jersey and the technology involved. Uh, what do you? How do we wrap this up? What do you think, Anshul? Uh, I think it's great. You know, I, I think a lot of people have been waiting for this front of jersey sponsorship to really launch, and I think we're really just kind of hitting the beginning of. Well, it's going to be a long relationship, yeah. and I think you know there's a lot more potential here. I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah. You know, I think you asked an interesting question about where things could move forward. Mm -hmm. And earlier today, you had on your your Ray-Ban Meta glasses, which has a Qualcomm chip in it. Yep. Those chips are teeny tiny if they can fit into glasses. So, I think it's really interesting to imagine the places it can go next. So. Absolutely. Well. Thank you for joining Game Time Tech. We're here at Qualcomm, with Qualcomm at Snapdragon Stadium. Melanie Brew, Robert Kramer, Anshul Saad. Please stay tuned for our weekly Game Time Tech. We'll look forward to seeing you next time, and hopefully we'll be in Manchester, uh, courtesy of uh, Qualcomm and Snapdragon, because they had such good numbers today. <laughs> Great. Thank you. <laughs>